Welcome to Chamber Check-In, presented by Dignity Health. Today, we are here with Chris Spear, owner of Traction Point. Chris, good morning. Hey, good morning, Sarah. It's great to be with you today. I'm so excited for our business community to learn about Traction Point and what you do for small, mid-sized, and even large businesses. So tell us a little bit about Traction Point. Well, uh, I started Traction Point about three years ago because I really love small and medium-sized business and helping small businesses to succeed. And uh, so really Traction Point is about teaching leadership teams three key things, how to get a vision uh, for where the business is going and how to get there. And two, how to get traction toward that vision with everybody executing with discipline and accountability. And third, really helping that leadership team to create a healthy culture uh, throughout the, uh, the whole organization. So everybody's smiling and having a fun time working together. Yeah, and I have to say that um, the chamber has benefited from what you have provided for us over the past two years. Uh, the chamber does participate in quarterly meetings with you and we implemented the, the EOS process uh, almost immediately after we met you and you have guided us and really helped us build a strong organization from the inside out. So I can only imagine how many businesses are out there that can really benefit from your services. I know you provide a weekly uh, workshop as well. What is that all about? Oh, I just do a little workshop. You know, not all, uh, not all businesses have, have got a leadership team with you know, three or four or five members of a leadership team. And uh, so I do a little workshop every every other Friday, actually. And uh, I'm just kind of teaching similar or the same principles that I teach with my bigger business clients to help these solopreneurs and smaller businesses to just get on the right track and start to build the foundations of really powerful operations so that when they do get ready to scale and so when that founder uh, does find a partner or they start to grow uh, they've already got good ideas and good principles for the operation in place uh, so that'll help them to grow and scale more effectively yeah what types of businesses do you find have the most success with with this process their traction point yeah, it's interesting, Sarah, because it's not any type of um, business vertical. It really has more to do with the leadership team and uh, their mindset. Uh, so the kind of business that it works with the best is a business that has leaders that uh, aren't stuck on the status quo, that aren't, uh, you know, that have a, a mind toward growth and learning and you know a little touch of humility uh the, the fact is that the way we've always done things is uh what's getting us what we've always got and so when a leader can uh, learn how to do do new things not just for the sake of doing new things but you know the fact is that every business is growing and changing in a pretty dynamic way and so you know, business and managing the change of business is really uh, um, a key and leaders who are ready to do that and embrace tools and disciplines that help them work through any kind of change are the ones that uh, it's going to work the best for. So to those businesses out there right now who know that they want to do something, they know what they want to work on their business, but they feel maybe a little bit overwhelmed or they don't know where to start. What did, what do you say to them? Uh, I say, keep, keep on going. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I just wrote a blog post about that, uh, yesterday, this idea that, uh, just keep going is a really powerful idea. And, uh, but then uh, keep, keep learning, keep growing. Uh, I, I'd say, you know, when, when you're feeling overwhelmed, uh, it's probably because, well, you don't have the tools in place to help you to get, 
get feeling better about it and feel organized and actually get traction in your in your business. And so uh, I guess it's really those two things, you know, keep keep the faith and keep going and keep growing, uh, keep on learning and embracing tools and disciplines that are going to uh, make you a better leader and you make your team a better team and, you know, move you into the possibilities for your future. Absolutely. Chris, thank you for being a member of the Gilbert Chamber. Thank you for your commitment to our organization and to our team here at the Chamber. Mm -hmm. I can't speak highly enough about you and what you do just for our own organization and the guidance that you provide. Anything else you want to say before we close out the day? Uh, yeah, I mean, one thing that came up for me as I was thinking about our conversation today is how many uh, business relationships I have that started with the Chamber. You know, I think of uh, some of my best clients uh, and the fact that I met uh, many of them through uh, things that I was doing with the chamber. So uh, I just wanted to return the, the compliment and thank you and the team at the chamber for uh, great events, great mixers and opportunities to connect and rub shoulders with uh, great business leaders out there. And uh, yeah, well, it, it's made a difference in my business as well. Well, I appreciate that. And I challenge the rest of our membership to take some time to meet with you because there is everything to gain by an hour of time with Chris Spear. So thank you so much for, for all you do. Thanks, Sarah. I'd, I'd love to do that. I, I love to help any business uh, build a better business so they can live a better life.